Howdy neighbors, welcome back to Ultimate Admiral Dreadnought, where today we'll be looking at the US of A. And a lot has happened since the last recording. No wait, not a lot has happened. <laughs> That's why I have been spamming the unturn button. <laughs> I have been slowly but steadily building battleships and upgrading them. Um, refitting my fleet and as you can see some of my new newer battleships of the Arizona and the Texas class are being deployed as we speak um, they're already outdated they're already outdated um, as you can see here I re-equipped them with 16 inch guns mark twos and yeah before too long they will be needed I think because we are heading towards a war either with the British or with Austro-Hungary either works um, as you can see Russia just like two turns ago decided to collapse but it's the British I'm worried about look at that they are pushing right now into Xinjiang they're pushing into central China they're pushing into Let's see, are they winning? Yeah, they're pushing into southern China. They are really gaining a foothold here. And I wish to do something about that. And the only way to do that, I think, is to invade Ireland. <laughs> that will be my next goal for this campaign, to try and take Ireland from the British. I wonder if I can do it. Let's find out. There we go. All of a sudden, war and war with Germany and with Japan. <laughs> and I'm in an alliance with France and China. Okay. Yeah, I guess that happens. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. So, politics. Improve relations with the Austro-Hungarian Empire, please. I don't want them to get involved as well. What I do want is to send a task force straight away. Let's see, do I have any battleships around here? Yeah, I do. Let's send this, this entire group here. Blockade uh, Valletta and take it over if I can. That will be my first strike. My second strike is move a fleet towards Gibraltar. Tell me I got enough destroyers. No, I need some more destroyers here. Um, yeah, there. Four, five, six, seven extra destroyers to go and take Gibraltar. That will be my first strike. Then. I will secure that way the, well, entrance to the Mediterranean, something the British have held control over for far too long. Then I will send a third fleet to poke the British as well. Four destroyers less and let's let's see let's not take the Tennessee let's not take the Oregon this is another Kansas yeah that is a Kansas of course and get the destroyers back in there we go and this means a Texas an Arizona another Texas and another Arizona class battleship will move out to land troops in Ireland. And the second fleet will move here. Can I increase the fleet? Because that will be my third strike, essentially, to weaken the British. And let's send a small battle cruiser group. Do we have any other battle cruisers lying around? Yes, I do. <laughs> In the middle here, as a support force, 
to strike Ireland. Then we have some British influence in this part of the Atlantic and the Caribbean. I'm not a fan, so I'm going to send all kinds of ships out. Uh, not a destroyer, thank you. Here, the Arkansas with some heavy cruisers. Um, yeah, good, 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 good. We still don't have a canal there, that's annoying. We have some destroyers here. Let's move to Georgetown with a light cruiser. Okay. Yeah, I think this will be my first turn of this modern war. Um, unless, let's take a look in Asia. Okay, the Chinese are in trouble. I cannot really help them. I only have a couple of destroyers here and not much else. <sighs> yeah. But the Japanese are coming, so I gotta move fast. Especially in this area. Hey, Rhode Island. Let's deploy you. And let's deploy a cruiser group as well to support you. And let's begin. Best case scenario, all my fleets get into position and I can start some invasions. Worst case scenario, nothing happens and in between we get a couple of battles. The Brits are scrapping ships, laying down new ships, laying down submarines, that is annoying. After all, submarines can be very dangerous, even for me. You need to be lucky with them, sure, but hey, it's possible for a submarine to kill a uh, battleship, I noticed. <laughs> no? Yes, better relations, thank you. Politics. Naval invasion. Now, this is what we want to see. We have some work to do. <laughs> I want to invade Gibraltar. That will be the first strike. That will be the most important strike because I want to block Chinese and British, um, uh, Japanese and British, pardon me, entrance in this general area. Then I would like to have some destroyers and a light cruiser in this port to provide mines. We don't have a lot of destroyers in and around this area that may come to bite me. So let's deploy you. Next turn, Valletta. And yeah, my other ships are on approach. There are some ships here blocking enemy movements. Let's go. Naval invasion triggered. I just wish to curb the British power. The British are too strong. I don't really care about the other nations, but if the British gain control over China, they will become a major threat. Geopolitics, man. i rather have the British not get control over China. By weakening the British, the Chinese will be able to fight back. That at least is my hope. A lot of Japanese new ships. Tenryu. Nice elections, and we won. Hooray! Okay. Let us see. Yeah, that should be doable. A lot of German ships there. Ooh, nasty. Um, politics. British Empire. I can't invade again straight away. That is really annoying. Um, I wish you could. I wish you could give more invasion orders in a single turn. If I have the fleet power, why the hell not, man? What is wrong with with speeding some things up? If I wish to spread my fleet out and have multiple invasions going and, you know, maybe have a drawback due to that, let me. Please let me. 
Um, crap armor and armor forging. Yes, please. And of course, big guns. Oh, 11 inchers are up next. And after that, probably the 12 inchers before the 15 and 16 inchers get upgraded again. Mm. One step at a time, I suppose. One step at a time. It would be fun to see a combined British German task force try to fight me off in uh, Gibraltar. That would be kind of cool. But nope, I have two meetings and a submarine attack instead. Unlucky. There we go. The British signed a peace treaty with Spain. Oh, that is un unfortunate for me. And that is unfortunate as well. Submarine attack against the battlecruiser group. <sighs> Heavy cruiser Toledo sank. Rhode Island. Can you retreat? Negative. With your 14 inch guns, you have to take on a lot of enemy ships. I had hoped that the other squadrons would take on the Japanese fleets. Oh dear. Should I retreat straight away? Hmm. Let's see the exact balance of power for a moment. Um. <laughs> oh dear. The enemy heavily outmatches me, yet yeah, I'm going to turn away. As far as that is possible, at least. Um, you join up here. Heavy Kuzos, what are you doing? Keep up. <laughs> Enemies to the northwest, so they're coming from that angle. Can I go faster? That is a negative. Okay, let's plot the course away. And let's hope we can get away with this task force. Otherwise, I will be in trouble. Well, the Rhode Island will be in trouble. And even though she is an outdated vessel, the island is one of my, well, I wouldn't say heroes, um, but it is a ship that has caught the eye of... Um, me, myself, and I, and maybe you as well, because she featured quite a few times as we engage the first enemy battleships that apparently are faster than mine. Frederick spotted them, and we scored our first hit. Nine incher, main deck penetration on something, probably a second battleship behind her. At least, let us take a look. Yeah, this is a old Dreadnought. Very nice looking Dreadnought. I am a fan. But you guys know that already, right? You know I'm a fan of uh, Japanese warships. Rhode Island, turn. Come on, guys. <laughs> run, run, run. Mickey, what is your, is your torpedo range? Six kilometers. No. Um, destroyer, no. Three kilometer range torpedoes on you. That's a shame. Otherwise I could have used a torpedo attack to um, cover my retreat. Not happening. Thirty-three knots. Even though that is not happening, I am gonna see if my destroyer can pick up the enemy. Um, yeah, I got fast torpedoes on these ships. Hmm. And no range finders. Well, no radar, unfortunately. Very close already. Look at that. Is 
seeing they are this close, I'm going to turn. I won't be able to fully outrun them, let's be honest. So let's turn and give full broadsides. Destroyer, keep scouting our targets. In fact, let's go down to two times speed for a second. 20 knots, please. 20 knots. 20 knots. And you are already at 20 knots. Okay. My destroyer is the only ship that can move faster. A good hit there. Scored a flooding hit. Um, maybe on a battleship there, it seems. Twinkle, twinkle, little star. How I want to blow you up. <laughs> okay, destroyer, turn. I can end the battle, but that would be cheating at this stage, I think. The enemy is closing in. The enemy wishes to fight. I mean, yes, it would save my ships if I did it, because I have... I make no illusions. I do not think I can win this. Um, destroyer is spotted, so smoke up, disengage. Lost sight of her. Okay, good. Another good hit. Still only 2k damage done so far. Not really a lot. As the enemy once again spots my destroyer. It's that, cru that, that cruiser group. That is spotting me. Let's turn. Mm, for a moment I thought I would get a hit in there. Cruisers, please fire at that enemy cruiser. Thank you. It's that cruiser group that needs to disengage first. <sighs> a strangely tense uh, engagement here. Okay, the lost side again. Enemy cruisers are doing 22 knots. Yeah. They're closing in rapidly now because I wanted to get um, more accurate guns to fire. Is my light cruiser even firing by now? No, it's she's not. Soon she will, though. Soon she will. Three minutes until I have a smoke screen. Once I have it, I will attempt a attack run on the enemy cruisers to get a torpedo launch in to get the enemy to back off. Because I think soon she will spot the cruiser group. 120. Stand by. Torpedoes away. Disengage. It's not about killing them, although... A good hit! A good hit! And that heavy cruiser will be... Well, not that, I think. No, she, he, she won't die. But... We do have some interesting... Uh, developments now, because that ship is out of action. Yeah, that was too much. Target the Fuso again. Okay, destroyer, disengage. Good. I have no more torpedoes. I used them all up in that attack. So. I played my wild card, I suppose. But, yeah. Yeah. Neutralizing a uh, cruiser with a single torpedo salvo. Yeah, it's a start. It's a start. Uh, yes! Oh, that is a huge hit. I think we have a battleship down. We have an enemy battleship down. Yes, we do. Oh, that was awesome. 
A 14 incher just nuked her. Well, Long Island, you saw, are doing great. Rhode Island, pardon me. <laughs> I'm gonna rename you to Awesome Island very soon, I think. Fun thing is that the enemy still has not spotted me. It is due to my radar advantage that I'm actually able to do this damage. Without radar, if this would have been a fair fight, this would have been yeah, very different. Very different indeed. Come on, cruisers. Do your thing and destroyer. Don't get hit. Destroyer again, lay a smoke screen and break contact. There we go. If the enemy escorts would charge in as well, they would also um, be able to do a lot of damage against me, but so far, so good. So far, so good. Division 2, join up with Division 5. Uh, no, 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 no. Not with Division 5, pardon me. Um, Division 3, yes. Lost sight of my destroyer again. Good. I'm moving my destroyer a bit to the side to make sure the other ships will be safe. My 11 inchers keep trying to pound the enemy, and oh my god, no, 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 no. Uh, by accidentally moving the light cruiser to this division, the destroyer slowed down. Speed is life for destroyers. So, the first enemy hits, 2k damage. Rhode Island, keep pounding. Mr. Fuso here, or Mrs. Fuso, whatever you like. Cruisers, let's start a turn. Battleship, start a turn. Spotted something, a heavy cruiser in the rear, okay. No threat. Of course, it will mean I will run out of ammo eventually. Also, that is a lot of shots coming my way. Smoke up. And start dodging and weaving. Rhode Island, I want you to close the distance with the enemy. Full river, close the distance. At this rate, I mean, I'm damaging the enemy, but it's slow going. It's too slow going. I need to close the distance a bit. Besides, my destroyer is not really going to last much longer. One good hit from a battleship can finish her off. Frederick. Yeah, okay. Whoops, almost clicked and battle rather than uh, unpause. <laughs> Whoopsie. Rhode Island, and there comes the other ships. Good. It's my cruisers now that are spotting the enemy, and no longer the destroyer. So, destroyer, you may join the light cruiser division. You have done your job. As another enemy battleship may go down. 
with standard bulkheads, the Fuso took a massive hit. Well, she is not dead, but she will be soon. Look at that. No, she's repairing her flooding. She is gaining control. But one more hit like that and she's finished. In exchange though, my cruisers are starting to take damage. That is unlucky. But yeah, eventually that was to be expected. Strangely enough, the Fuso is still leading the formation. Frankly, I would have expected the Fuso to fall back. I'm gonna focus fire her. At least for a while. I mean, this guy has a 9 inch here, but some of my other cruisers have 11 inch guns. They should be able to deal with battleships. Fall River, be careful, please. Because they found the Rhode Island now. <laughs> good, 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 good. Ooh, another flooding hit. Is this the end of the Fuso? 18%. 14. 9. Nine, 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 five, four. For me. Yes, she's on. Her entire hull is flooding. We got ourselves a second Japanese battleship. Full River has taken a heavy hit, though. Um, you may detach Full River. Continue on course. Disengage. You have served your purpose. And you served me well. Of course, my cruisers are so much more powerful than the enemy cruisers. 11-inch um, guns, what can I say? Okay, let's slowly pull back again. And Rhode Island, move back in. Let's see if we can get something done here. Ooh, good hit, good hit. Although, I'm curious why, Rhode Island, you were doing that. I told you to shoot the Amagi. Because that would be great if the Amagi, if the Amagi dies as well. I mean, three enemy capital ships it would be a great victory. The Japanese would ask for, for, for a peace treaty if this fleet dies, but... <laughs> Yeah, I don't think that will happen. Not yet, anyway. We scored a good hit on the Amagi there. In fact, all cruisers fire on the Amagi. Let's talk torpedoes for a second. Enemy torpedo range is very bad. Very bad indeed. This is a strange game in terms of technology. In some ways, my ships are very... Um, advanced, and in some ways they are just so outdated. Also, Frederick, ouch! Frederick, you may detach and disengage. I'm down to three cruisers in this division. And yeah, the heavy cruiser from that division is nuked as well, so yeah, ow, that's not good. We have incoming destroyers as well. explosive rounds um, yeah no it's light cruisers well it was light cruisers <laughs> that guy is toast next in the meanwhile my battleship is slowly turning oh damn I wanted to only smoke the uh, light cruiser whoops my salvos and another hit her entire bow section is gone this might be the end of the amagi 10 percent eight seven i think she will survive but it's close four percent one more flooding hit and she's done for look at that 0 0.5 zero oh my god that is the destruction of the Amagi. 
a third battleship gone. Target the next battleship. And um, secondaries on that light cruiser, please. I think that light cruiser is done for. Isn't she? Standard bulkheads? Yeah, she might be done for. My ships in the meanwhile. Oh, look at that. What is the armor on these ships? My god. I'm just ripping through this uh, Japanese ship like it's a knife in butter. Another battleship down. I repeat, battleship down. Hurrah! This is insane. Rhode Islands and company. I love you guys. <laughs> oh my god. Battle cruiser. Massive flooding reported. Look at that. One more good hit will finish that battle cruiser off. And that's all their heavy capital ships. And in exchange, I got a damaged heavy cruiser or two. Yeah. One, two, and even the river. I'm actually considering pulling her back. As the enemy battle cruiser goes down. We did it. We killed all the enemy capital ships. Well, heavy capital ships, that is. Although, hold on. What's this? No, that's a light cruiser, not a battle cruiser. Don't be silly. Maybe even a destroyer, indeed. Nah, light cruiser, I think. Yoink. <laughs> this is a awesome victory. I did not expect this. expect this at all but here we are doing some evasive maneuvers because I got into destroyer range let's see the other ships are here Frederick Paul Fall River pardon me may rejoin Rhode Island in the formation and we have Frederick your floatability is fine. You're going to join as well. So I'm going to recall my retreating ships. Getting another hit on a light cruiser. Very good. As a 3 kilometer range torpedo. 3-3 three, three on that one. 3-3 three, three on that one. Okay, yeah, let's finish them off. We can be the aggressor now. I guess, um, yeah, this was the, uh, this is the strength of kiting. I mean, it's all I can say. This is kiting. And kiting has a certain advantage, as you can see. It's not something I often do. I mean, by now you guys know me. Um, I prefer throwing in my shits. <laughs> getting up close and personal that also works with the fact that I generally don't go heavy on my uh, deck armor but yeah I think this has been the good call to make Rhode Island turn please because the Hamakaze is getting a bit close and I'm not a fan yeah, that heavy cruiser is done for. Target the next one. Rhode Island, return to original course. And there we are. Let's the ships go faster. The other two ships will eventually return to the to the fight. For now, all is well. Although, warning. Running out of ammo. <laughs> Target the destroyer, please. All ships. And do a quick dodge of the torpedo. Who did you target? Colorado. That's not good. Although, if you turn now... Oh my god. 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 Detach. I thought 
the enemy would shoot at the um, lead ship of the formation. But she didn't. Uh, you, you can outrun that torpedo. Turn sharper. Turn very sharp and we should be fine. Yes, we dodged that one. We should be able to dodge here. I don't think there is a torpedo here in this section. And you dodged as well. Oh, well done. Five times speed. Colorado, turn. Pueblo, turn. Charlotte is Division 5. Reform on 5. This is now Division 4. Reform on Division 4. Become Division 3. Okay, let's go. Rhode Island, turn. Ah. I think, in some ways, this has been the most one-sided battle I ever fought. Um, enemy had a clear advantage in capital ships, a clear advantage in escort ships. I had a radar advantage, and as such, I can kill the enemy, and the enemy can't kill me. <laughs> oh, if the enemy had radar, I say it again, this would have been so much different. Technology, man. It is the key to survival. Enemy fired, so let's turn. And yeah, I know I'm moving in way closer now, all of a sudden. I'm, uh, by now I'm willing to take the risk, as you can see. Another ship down. Three enemy ships remain. Two of them are sinking. So that is the last enemy ship of the fight. And I think with that, the Japanese will ask for a peace treaty. Let's be honest. Losing four battleships and a battle cruiser in a single fight. And a shitload of escort ships. Yeah. It would not surprise me if they asked to surrender. But in all honesty, I'm not quite sure what the total number of ships was that the enemy had, so... Maybe. Maybe. <laughs> he stops moving. He's like, yeah, no, nope, I've given up. <laughs> done. Done and done. Sixteen ships destroyed, including four battleships and a battlecruiser. Ugh. Tell me. Damage dealt. Rhode Island, you are being promoted. You will become the USS Rhode Island for services to the motherland. <laughs> wow. And eliminating so many Japanese ships. Japanese battleships. Ah, oh, the ride of the Rhode Island. A fitting name for this episode, I think. I don't know. Battleship Island? No, that doesn't work. That doesn't... No. <laughs> I told you. I told you, guys. They would surrender. Yes, please. Okay. <laughs> Woo. Now, this is going to be fun. Um, I really don't want to do this fight. But if I don't, this light cruiser win will, in the auto resolve, probably blow up half my fleet. So I'll be right back. There we go. Finished off that light cruiser. Um, set up a naval invasion order for Ireland. And as you can see, two of my fleets are already in position. That is wonderful. And they are now going to invade. The Japanese? Yeah. <laughs> GG. <laughs> oh, that was wonderful. Um, yeah, the entire Japanese fleet got decimated. Um, not very interested in their ships because, well, you know, they're shite. However, 
if I take as many ships as possible. <sighs> and the enemy, uh, it's not a lot. I can only take a single battleship. Oh, that is a shame. No, I'm not gonna take any of their ships. Just take the money. That is fine. Nope. Okay, naval invasion against Ireland being deployed. Let's get... These are two divisions here, aren't they? Yeah. And there is a separate battleship group here. Let's see if we can join you up with the uh, battle cruisers. We have English ships, German ships, all on approach. Um, do I have any ships left here? Yeah, I do. Not a lot. <laughs> well, I was gonna say not a lot, but um, let's see, New Hampshire class battleships, Minnesota class battleships, yeah. We can make a very heavy task force out of this. No, the light cruiser is being repaired. Okay, next turn, hopefully, we can start the third invasion. Um, and my fleet here at Malta sadly had to retreat due to a single torpedo from a light cruiser hitting one of my battleships. The Florida, very annoying. Anyway, things are looking good. Things can look even better. Let's start building 22 submarines. And start deploying them in Europe and the eh, West Coast, probably. Turn three has come and is gone. And since I lost a battleship to submarines, I am very scared of them. <laughs> They took out the Helena. Another cruiser gone. Um, yeah. Gotta fight this one, because if I don't... You know what? Let's show you what happens if I don't. It's just for those that haven't seen it before. This can happen, and I'm very lucky. I'm very happy. I've also seen things like this, like damaging like half my fleet. Oh, let's see, 14 incher, 12 incher, oh, they're dead. North Dakota, oh, this is, this is not my uh, battleship group. That is a shame, that is a shame, but they're still gonna die. <laughs> However, that will be for next episode, considering the time. So yeah, ladies and gentlemen, I thank you very much for watching. Next time we will continue our attacks on the British to try to take Ireland, to try to take Gibraltar, Malta, take a lot of English um, colonies away from them, weaken the British fleet so they stop invading and conquering China. That is my whole goal. World dominance is never my goal, you know this. Uh, I just want peace for all. Join me next time to see if peace can be achieved. Until then, take care.